Hey everyone, and welcome back to Kids Church for All Ages. It's Teacher Kiko here. And Teacher Annika. We're now in our fourth and last week of our series called RPG, Roles and Personalities of God. And also, I just want to say happy birthday to Leah and hi to her sisters, Loy and Liv. And, 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 and happy, happy birthday to Ash Bautista. Happy birthday, Ash. And now, kids, it's time for... Game Time! time! Alright, kids, as you can see, we have our soda cans. Yeah. They're kind of toply. Wait, here we go. You ready, Teacher Annika? Yes, without okay. dropping. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, two one, go! Ah! Let's go three times. One, two, three. It's like a cone. Spin. Ah! See kids, we have this thing called centrifugal kids, we have this thing called centrifugal force. <laughs> tippy toes. A tippy tippy toes. I toes. A tippy tippy toes. Teacher Annika. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here for a minute. <laughs> 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 Oh man, the rabbit loses the race once again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you see someone. Oh my! <laughs> and too much oh. confidence, teacher geek. Too much confidence. Kids, I hope you learned your lesson through me. Congrats, teacher Annika. I definitely Woo! deserve this lose. was super hard. Congratulations, Teacher Annika. You served those soda cans in excellent style. Thank you, Teacher Kiko. Thank you. In today's lesson, we will learn how God is our master and we are His servants. So, as we prepare our hearts to receive God's word, let's sing this song as our worship to Him. moments in my darkest hours you're the god who hears me when i'm crying out for help when my faith is shaken and i'm all struck down you're the god who sees me you're the god who saves i will bless the lord I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. In your lavish kindness, I've been washed in grace. You're the God who loves me. Can't keep it to myself I want to shout your story I'm gonna sing your praise You're the God who's mighty You set my heart ablaze I will bless the Lord I will bless the Lord at all times I will bless the Lord at all times And I can face the day For you 
are strong to save And I will bless the Lord at all times And when you give and take I'll stand on what you say And I will bless the Lord at all times I will bless the Lord I will bless the Lord at all times I will bless the Lord I will bless the Lord at all times Oh, I will bless the Lord I will bless the Lord at all times Abba Father, we bless your name and we worship you. Thank you for the life that you have given us. Thank you for always being with us and for guiding us in every step of the way. Thank you for guiding us here. Thank you for guiding our family to where we are. Thank you that you are sovereign and good. You know your great plans for us. And we just trust you and commit our lives to you. We love you, Lord. Help us to learn more about you, but more than knowing, may we apply them in our lives as a way of showing how grateful we are of your great love for us. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Another way we can worship God is through our giving. So you may give your tithes and offering by following the instructions flashed on the screen. Hello and welcome to the final episode of RPG Roles and Personalities of God. And today, we are going to play one of my favorite games and it's called Overcooked 2. And I'm not the only one who's going to play it. With me is Teacher Annika. Annika. Hey kids. Yes, Teacher Annika, how long have you been playing Overcooked 2? Oh, I haven't played Overcooked in quite some time now, but I'm just going to follow your lead, Teacher JC. All right, gotcha. So, I'll be the head chef today. All you have to do is follow my instructions okay. and no, I think we'll be all right. So, what's my role? All right. If you're the head chef. Uh, I'm the head chef. You're the 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 <laughs> okay just someone <laughs> you've asked a very hard question cook, cook. maybe i'm yes. the cook the head cook the head chef <laughs> all right so cooks. we'll start again with the story mode and what will happen if i uh choose why if you choose why uh, your I'm character gonna emote for... uh if you're angry and you know <laughs> it just emote there's a time to emote i love it <laughs> all right so we could either do this one or we could do the easier one which is this one uh, which would you do rather the pick harder one. oh all right so we'll pick one of three okay actually i don't know What's the difference? All right, so me and my siblings, we played this before and our best score is 428. But we can try and achieve 320, um, perhaps? Let's beat the let's best see. score. <laughs> All right, so again, just follow my lead. Okay. All right, so I I'll yeah! pause it for a while. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Are you ready, Teacher Annika? I'm ready. All right, remember, plates on the middle, throw the cucumber, cook the rice, and clean the plates. Okay. All right, the I'll rest... I'll try it, but just continue to instruct, instruct me. Okay. Ready? Yes, let's do it! All right, go! Ah! Okay. okay, get Throw the, the cucumber. Oh. Okay, get the plates, put it at the middle. The plates, the plates. There you go. All right, put the other plate. Come on, come on, the other plate. All right, there you go. Get and the plate. put it where? Get the plate, put it on the middle, and get the rice and cook it. Here? This yes, is the rice get the rice. One? Yeah, that one. Cook it. Thank you. I'm gonna need the I'm gonna need the cucumber. Thank you. Put it there. The rice. I'll do the rest. Oh. Alright. Oh. Thank you. Oh, nicely done. Where? 
<laughs> anywhere, drop it anywhere. Just drop it anywhere. <laughs> uh, get the rice, get the rice. Okay, there you go. Good job, good job. Where okay. did I put it? Okay, just clean the plate first. There you go. Then put it there. Awesome! Then grab me some cucumber again. Are we now weaning? Yeah, I think so. Go grab me some cucumber. Cucumbers. Uh, uh, uh. Drop it first. There, there you go. Throw me some cucumber. Cucumber. There you go. Okay. Uh, rice. Oh, Cook the rice. Do sorry, sorry. My bad. We can still make it. Oh, we're 23! <laughs> we did it! Really? <laughs> yes! We oh, are at 423! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! Almost oh. done! Alright! Awesome! Amazing! For a first job. time, we're at yes. for a long time. Yes, and we did it because you were able to follow my instructions yeah, kind of yeah. kind of oh, but you kidding. were there yeah, but yeah. you were there yeah because you of, did you did really of great teacher jesus instructions of course yes and that was an amazing run teacher annika thank you for leading me teacher jc that welcome. was really fun i miss playing overcook and it was actually way easier to play with one person to follow maybe an overcook teacher jc can make the game easier mm. but in life jesus is the ultimate person we should follow Mm. And guys, that's the last RPG role and personality of God that we'll be talking about today, which is God is our master. master. It says in the Bible in John 12, 26, whoever serves me must follow me, then my servant will be with me everywhere I am. My father will honor anyone who serves me. Guys, that's Jesus talking. And if we want to serve him, we must do everything he says. He is, in short, our master. master. Once again, my name is Teacher JC. And I'm Teacher Annika. See, See you guys, guys next time. time. Okay, one more. Let's beat All the All right, test. one more, one more. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kids Church. Pastor Bojo here once again. And uh, I want to say a big shout out to Halili, Beya, and Yoshi. Welcome all of you. Now, we are currently going through a series, RPG, The Roles and Personalities of God. And I hope you've been following us, learning so much about who God is and how we can relate to Him. I want to start with what happened when Jesus resurrected Lazarus from the dead. You remember that story? Jesus raised His good friend from the dead. And so he was entering Jerusalem and all of these people who were all around, they were here for the Passover. They saw Jesus, they were proclaiming him, wow, this is the king. They were healing him, oh, hail Jesus. They were praising him and all these things. And there were actually some people who wanted to see Jesus. And when Jesus saw all of these people, he was actually giving them an idea of what would happen to him regarding his death. And this is what he says in the book of John. 12, 25 to 26. Anyone who loves their life will lose it. But anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it and have eternal life. And whoever serves me must follow me. Then my servant will be with me everywhere I am. My father will honor anyone who serves me. Now we've been looking who God is to us for the last couple of weeks, that He is our Creator, He is a friend of ours, and the privilege it is to be able to call Him our Father. And today we're going to be looking at God as our Master. You see, Jesus deserves our devotion and obedience. He is our priority. He is number one. Is He number one in your life? And we must not think only that Jesus is just there to provide for us, to help us, to protect us, to serve us, to give us all the blessings that He can. And he does. He wants to do that for us. But we need to understand that He is our master and that He does not exist just for our comfort. In reality, we give up our comfort for a life of obedience and service to Him. And what does that look like? What does it look like to give up our comfort? Maybe for some of us here, we are comfortable when we are playing on our phone or our tablet or our Nintendo Switch or whatever gadget you may have. And we're so happy and enjoying. We're comfortable, we're relaxed, having fun and all these things. And giving up that comfort means maybe we exchange that for the Bible. And where God says, hey, have you read the word today? I want to teach you, I want to speak to you. And sometimes we need to give up that comfort 
so that we can follow Him, obey Him, and serve Him, and know Him more. And we give that out so that we can read more, maybe, know more of who He is. But here's the thing. When we say that we give up something in terms of following and serving, calling Jesus our master, we feel that we're losing something. Do you ever feel that way? Where you have to give up something that you enjoy, something that you're comfortable doing to do something that you may not necessarily like so much. But in this case, when we declare God is our master, we, we are actually gaining so much more. So don't ever think that you are losing something. We gain a sense of joy and fulfillment when we serve Him. We gain eternal life as the Bible tells us. We gain the reward as God will honor us. There is so much that can be gained as we serve and obey God. And that's why the, the main idea I want to leave with you today, we gain more by obeying and serving God. I want you to repeat that to yourself. I gain more by obeying and serving God. What does it look like to serve and obey God in our life today? You know, you may be saying, Pastor, but I'm only seven years old. How, how do I do that? I'm just a kid. I just want to enjoy and have fun and all these things. You know what? Even as young as you are now, you can obey, you can serve God. So what does that look like? You know, maybe for some of you who are attending our churches on site, you can tell your teachers how you can volunteer. You can ask them, teacher, is it okay if I can help? But can I help you in any way? All right, you're serving others. Maybe spend more time in the Word of God, less time on your gadgets maybe. There's so many things that we can do. And I encourage you, whether that's to volunteer, to serve in your church, to serve at home, maybe some of the house chores, you know, the things that your parents are asking you to do as you obey them, you're obeying uh, God Himself. And I want you to come before the Lord and saying, Lord, how can I serve you at home, in my church, in my schoolwork, amongst my friends, with family? There are ways on how we can serve and obey God wherever we find ourselves. The reason that we do this, the reason why we follow God is because of this power of truth. God is my everything. And our power verse tells us, I don't have anyone in heaven but you. I don't want anything on earth besides you. My body and my heart may grow weak, but God, you give strength to my heart. You are everything I will ever need, as it says in Psalm 23, 25 to 26. <laughs>
you know what? Jesus is our master. He deserves our obedience. He deserves our service. And you know what? The Bible says in Philippians 2 eight, that Jesus himself, he humbled himself. Being God, humbled himself to become a man. He obeyed until the point of death on the cross. He obeyed the will of the Father. He was an example of service and of obedience to God. And I pray that we would follow the example of Christ who gave up himself for us. Imagine, he did that for us. He gave up his life on the cross for us so that we can have a relationship with God. And we follow his example of what it means to serve, to obey our God. Amen? Why don't we pray right now? Lord, we thank you so much that you are not just a father or friend, but you are also our master. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, that you have called us to walk in obedience, to serve according to your purposes. And Lord, even as young as we are, and as young as these young boys and girls are, Lord, as young as they are right now, Lord God, you have called them to a heart to serve and to obey you and to grow in the knowledge of obeying you and what it says in your word. So Lord, I pray that your grace will be upon them. Father, I pray that you'll give them the opportunities, Lord God, and how they can serve, how they can honor your name as they obey what you have called them to do. And Lord, I pray that you would bless each person as they hear this message. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen and amen. Hey kids, it's me, Teacher Cami, and today we are visiting the Volunteers Lounge for our on-site kids' church. And we will be interviewing some of our teachers who serve God through serving kids your age. And they do it all for free. Hey everybody, with me right now is Teacher Erin and Teacher Ashi. All right, we're gonna ask them some questions. So Teacher Erin and Teacher Ashi, how long have you guys been serving in kids' church? I've been serving since March. March. And? Actually, Ashi? I've been serving last 2018, but pandemic happened and I just started now. Ah, that's so nice. So why do you guys serve in Kids Church? I really wanted to have bond with children and to speak them with the instrument of God. Mm. How about you, Teacher Erin? I believe in the word, in the saying that we should help other people as well, not just physically but spiritually and I want children to grow as the leaders of our next generation so I think it's a good idea to volunteer as well. Wow that's amazing thank you teachers. Teacher Jake hi yes. hello. hello we have our camera over there hello. and I wanted to ask you some questions <laughs> and teacher Jack how long have you been serving in kids church? <gasps> Maybe older than most kids. Oh, <laughs> older than that? most kids. Oh. Older than Victory Fort. <laughs> Somebody guys guess in the comments how long Teacher Jack has been serving. <laughs> Teacher Jack, why do you do this for free? Well, because I'm really very fond, not really very fond, very fond of kids. And I want to ensure that the leaders of tomorrow will be godly leaders. Yeah. Woo, yay, thank you so much, Teacher Jack, for your service and honoring God. Yeah. Wow, those were really inspiring stories. You see, when we serve God, we really don't lose anything. Instead, we gain so, so, so much. And aside from serving in kids' church, there are so many ways to serve God. Which brings us to our family con. What is one thing that you can do to serve God? Get creative and talk about it with your family. It's raffle time! I have the black box here and we're ready to pick the winners of our craft kit. Congratulations to... Katie Ho! Next! David and Daniel Esguera. And last... Siel Kawili. Congratulations! Hey Crafty Kids, it's me again, Teacher Nikki. Happy birthday to Jared David Valenzuela from his best friend, FC Ibanez. Wow, happy birthday to you. You know what time it is? Oh, it's craft time!
we making today, Teacher Vicky? We're going to make sashes that say God's servant. Ooh, wait, why are we making that kind of sash? Because today, we learned that God is our master. Ooh. To make this craft, we're going to need different colored papers, Ooh. markers. Wait, how many colored papers do we need? Well, we need ones that are enough for our bodies, for the sashes. So today, I'm going to use six different colored papers. Six different colored papers. All right. Okay. And then? And we also need some crayons. Crayons. Stickers. Stickers. Double-sided tape. Oh, it's Teacher Plum's favorite <laughs> thing. The double-sided tape. We will also need some scissors. Scissors. Again, kids, be careful when using scissors. Let's go! Let's go! We'll start by cutting our colored papers in half, like this. I have the scissors right here. Mm -hmm. But I can't seem to grab it with my fingers. <laughs> All right. So, what are you doing, Teacher Nikki? I'm folding the papers in half so that it'll be easy to cut. Ooh! Mm -hmm. I think the kids could do that as well. Yes. And they still need to ask for help when they use the scissors. Correct! What's your favorite color, Taro? My favorite color is purple! Just like me! <laughs> I don't have color purple here, but I'm gonna cut the color pink first. Careful, Teacher Nikki. I'll be careful. How about you? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Ah, you have the same favorite color. I'm purple. And you like purple too. Yes. How about you kids? Ooh, some of them said green. Mm. Like the forest. It's very common. Now that I'm at the last colored paper, we're going to set aside the extra pieces. Ooh! Can you help me out with that, Taro? Sure, teacher, Nikki. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Taro. Welcome! It's my pleasure to help. Now we're going to write on two of our colored papers, God's servant. Ooh! I think the kids are also excited to write God's servant. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna write servant. Servant! And the last one. T! <laughs> Letter T. <laughs> Let's show the kids the trick. So I wrote here God's servant. God's servant. And this is gonna be how it looks like on our sash. Ooh, great job, teacher Nikki. Thank you. All right. Now, what are the other strips for? Well, we're gonna put some decorations. Do you have any ideas of what I can put on the other papers? Um, maybe squiggly lines and zigzags. Sure, I'll do that on this red colored paper. All right. You're doing a really great job, Teacher Nikki. Because it's for our craft today. Yay! Awesome! What are we going to do for the next color, Taro? What color is next, though? Blue. Oh, blue. Um, do you have any ideas, kids? Hmm, what about... We'll use the color red and draw some... Um, hearts and a cross. Ooh! It reminds me of God. Ooh, yes, because he loves us and he died on the cross for all of us. And because the sashes that we're making mean that we are God's servant. Yep. What color is next, Teacher Nikki? The color green. Green! Ah, I have an idea for the color green. Mm -hmm. Draw some stars and... um. Hmm. Smiley faces? Yeah, smiley faces! <laughs> so I bet you kids are also having fun designing your sashes. See? Awesome! Smiley faces and stars. And, mm -hmm. 
for the last color, I think we should put some stickers. Oh, that's I, a really great idea. I have some different stickers wow, here. Wow, so many stickers. I have here stickers of dinosaurs. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to put two different, two big dinosaurs. How big? Like this. Look, Roar! they're like the size of your eyes. <laughs> I ain't scared of any dinosaurs. They what are you stink. afraid of, Taro? I'm not afraid of anything because I know that God is with me. Aww. I hope you kids remember that too. When we have God in our lives, there's nothing to be afraid of. I meant to that. <laughs> and now I have a baseball mitten. Is that what we call it? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Ooh, a football. Are you about to finish, teacher Nikki? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I'm just gonna add two more stickers. One, and last one, two. We're done. Yay. Wow, so many beautiful stickers. All right, what's next? We're going to assemble the sash. Earlier we said we're gonna use double-sided tape, but you can use any tape that you have available. And we already put double-sided tape on the sides of our sashes. And now we're already assembling all of the pieces. All right. I think we're... Ooh! Mm -hmm. Last piece. We need the last double-sided tape. Yes. I haven't put double-sided tape on this last one yet. Okay. And the double-sided tape is really sticky. Yep. It really is. <laughs> Time to cut. Oop, oop. I'm gonna move a bit. Sorry. Careful. Be very careful. Yay! Awesome. Okay. And it's done. It's finished. Awesome. It says God's. Uh, I, I can't see. Oh, God's servant! How does it look like when you put it on? Wow! Awesome! 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 And now we have our servant sashes. Mm. I even made one just for you, Taro. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I'll what put does it, it on. Say? It also says God's God. servant. Oh. Oh. Ooh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> you are um, God's servant, Taro. I am God's servant. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm sliding down my arms. Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. It's okay. God's servant. Yes, we should be proud that we serve and work for the Most High God. This is why we made the sash today. To, to tell the world that God is our master. Amen to that. We follow what God says and we serve Him by advancing His kingdom, telling people about Him, and bringing them closer to God. Mm -hmm. This is really an amazing craft, teacher. Mm -hmm. So, what about the kids? Well, if you want your crafts to be featured in our service next week, you know what to do. Send us an email of your photo to our email address, kidsfort at victory.org.ph. All photos sent to our email will be shown online. Mm -hmm. We'll also give you one raffle entry for our craft raffle for the month of July. All right. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. <laughs> it's my turn. All right. That's it for craft time for this week. See you next month. Bye. 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 <laughs> Dance. Servant. <laughs>